Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. And today we have an iPad LumaFusion video for you. I've had a lot of people ask me about how I copy my files and, and how to edit my videos on LumaFusion just for you guys here on the YouTube. And uh, I want to do that down and dirty. Um, I'm going to show you how I copy my files from my iPhone, which I video most of the time. I airdrop them to the iPad on my GoPro. I take the SD card out. I use a, an S, a USB C hub, copy the files over. I create a folder, open up LumaFusion, and go to town with it. And it is a great application. I enjoy using it. And uh, I want to show you how to do it. So let's stick around and we'll get right down here and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, hopefully this is working. So we've got the iPad and we got my phone. I'm usually filming on the phone or the GoPro. And the way I get the footage to here from the phone, we're gonna show the phone first. Just take my video. And there's a ton of videos out there on how to do airdrop. So I have airdrop enabled on my iPad and my phone. And all I do is hit airdrop on here and it shows up over here. And there it is. This is a short video of me catching a fish. And this is one we're going to use today. That was a big fish. So let me show you right here. I have a, a USB hub, USB-C hub on the iPad, and I have a video that I'm gonna link right up here on this. Well, it has an SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. And I'll generally take the uh, SD card out, or the micro SD card out of the GoPro, plug it in, and I'll just go to the Files app, copy it over right that way. So I have everything in a folder, and I create a folder and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Okay, so as I showed you in the, in the previous clip, how to do the airdrops, how to airdrop everything to the iPad Pro. Okay, so here I have the iPad Pro and I have a USB-C dock right here. See, it's got all the little connectors on it for the HDMI and SD cards and USB and all that stuff. Can't get over to it. So I got my SD card micro SD card, I'm sorry, out of the out of the GoPro and uh, I'm going to plug it in just like that. It is ready to go now. Now I can open up the Files app and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Let me switch down and share the screen on the iPad and uh, we'll record that and I'll show you what I'm doing here. All right, here I am at the iPad. I'm going to open up the Files app and you'll see things highlight when I open it up. And here I am and over on the left side in the sidebar is my is my dog barking. So on the GoPro, you have a DCIM folder. Most DSLRs, you have something like that. And what you do, you find your file. And I'm just going to copy one just to, to say that I'm copying it. So I'm going to long press. And it gives you a context menu. Over here on the right-hand side, this is a context menu. I'm going to copy that to my iPad. I'm going to go up here on my iPad. I'm going to go to LumaFusion, I'm going to go to Projects, and I have a LumaFusion folder where I'm making this video. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to long press, paste, and it's copying it over to the folder. Now one of the problems that people have, it, it doesn't show you, 
uh, progress thing. It did there for just a second, but it's it's there now. So I am ready to open up Lumen Fusion. So what I'm going to do, we'll go down here and I'm open up Lumen Fusion. Golly, I keep long pressing. And I'm going to create a new project. So if you watch on my screen, you'll see all the little icons down at the bottom highlight. See, now this is your project explorer. I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to call it Luma Fusion. How to 2021. Okay, now I'm going to go in and tell it the frame rate. And I always film everything 30 frames per second. My aspect ratio is 16.9. And I use a standard color space because nothing fancy. This is just a, a how to video. All right, we're good. We are ready. This is the video editing IDE or NLE, whatever you want to call it. And all we do from here is drag and drop. So I'll show you that next. Okay, so here we are on the iPad. I'm going to go back to where I had LumaFusion open. And I've got the correct files in here now. At least I hope I do. So what we're going to do, and all these all these files except for one is 1080, one of them's 4K, but uh, we'll let LumaFusion render it out in 1080. So what it is, I'm going to drop the first file down and put it in a timeline. And this is the timeline. Did you see how fast that was? Now, that was only one minute and seven seconds worth of video. And this is the video that you're watching. You know, this is what, what it is. Now, you can shrink and expand. You can pinch and zoom. You can cut, uh, put transitions. You can have A roll, B roll. Anything you can do in the big expensive video editing softwares, you can do here. It is amazing. You know, if I want to, I can go all the way out to the end. I grab this one, put it in, done. It's ready to go. That was two minutes of 4K video, which is a pretty good, pretty good file size, about a gig and a half shrink it down a little bit ready to go and this is what I do I put all the clips in um, in the correct order I name them you know the correct the correct thing I have added all that footage now No skip frames, no nothing. I mean, it just buttery smooth. It's amazing. If I want to add a transition, let me play it out just a little bit. You can see the audio waveform in the timeline there. all the controls at the bottom and if you have a keyboard and mouse you can use keyboard and mouse and you can cut delete that fast I can add a transition now when I start it up perfect another thing you can do I have I've created little green screen video callouts you're not there come on Scott um, and that's easy enough to do there's a lot of videos online how to do it you create your little green screen drop it in 
you can hit the little pencil to edit there's all kind of different coloring colorist coloring colorist whatever um, features you can do to change the color spectrum uh, change any problems you have with your colors I don't know what you I can't remember what you call that um, but you can really make your videos pop with this software very easy and very fast see I made my video call out it's very cool I have them for all the social media you know Facebook Instagram I have a little subscribe button I can put on drag and drop and do a little edit on it. It is that fast. So now when I do that, you see my little subscribe button and bell come up. Very cool. So this is how you do that. I mean, it's it is just that easy to cut and you can add music tracks if I want to add a music track I went to YouTube audio and you can I'm gonna put a link to all this in the in the description you want audio on your video bang that fast you want to edit it and drop the volume down boom you want a keyframe put a keyframe on it you can do anything with this you can have up to six channels of audio and video, 4K, it doesn't matter. This thing will eat it up. It's amazing. So let me let me work a little bit more and uh, I'll show you how to share and export this so you can put it up to YouTube. Okay, so now we're at the end of the video. We've got everything the way we want it, we hope. Uh, we've made all of our transitions and edits. I'm gonna make believe that we have. So down here in the bottom right, I want to share this thing to YouTube. First, I want to share it to my either my photos folder or my files. Down here in the bottom right, there's a little share button. And if you're used to iOS devices, it's the share button. I want to go up here and make a movie. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my files app. And this, this is how you set your settings for your movie. So I'm going to render this out in 1080 just for the sake of time. It will chew 4K up like it didn't nothing. I mean, it's crazy. 30 frames per second. You can do extreme 40 meg per second. Ultra is 70 megs per second. 40 is fine for this. Uh, all the other uh, settings we have are just fine it's going to use three gigs a little bit over three gigs of uh, drive space which is fine if it was 4k it would probably be on up six and a half seven <clears throat> um, we will go ahead and do this I always like saving it to my files first so I can watch it and uh, make sure everything's cool before I upload it to YouTube so the little button on the top right next to the file's name, little arrow in a box, that's the one you hit to make it go. And what it'll do, it's starting to render and it's faster than real time. I've got it at 13 minutes now, which when I get done, it's gonna be a little bit less than that, but it's already got over a minute done it, it's amazing how fast this little machine is. <clears throat> and excuse me for my voice, my allergies are kicking in. So I will speed this up and get it through the 13 minutes. It'll probably take about four minutes, maybe five. But I'll join you back then.
Okay, it took a little over three minutes for 13 minutes of video. Got some transitions and some music and other stuff in it. I'm, <laughs> I don't have a computer in the house that'll do that. Say it that way. So that is down and dirty, fast. It's it's easy to do. Even I can do it. And if you take a lot longer with it, you can really make a great looking video. Uh, the app costs thirty dollars in the app store. Well worth it. I mean, you can spend two, three hundred, or get a subscription plan on the other ones, and and I don't see where you need it. Now you can get DaVinci Resolve, but you really got to have a stout computer to run it to really make it go. Um, I'm a I really like LumaFusion, and with the new iPads, the new M1 iPads that they're talking about. Um, the power speed and the, the way the screen's going to look man that's going to be awesome uh if you're an ipad person that's going to be cool but anyway i'll end it right there um <clears throat> excuse my voice my allergies are kicking in but anyway if y'all like this video give me a thumbs up hit that little subscribe button hit that bell be notified i'm at 5 33 uh, can't thank you enough uh appreciate all the comments if you use LumaFusion, let me know. Let me know what video editor you use for your videos. And uh, I'd like to know, and we'll, we'll chat about that. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and go find me something to eat and finish this video up and get it up to YouTube. And until the next video, thanks for watching. And hey, hit that subscribe button for me. I'd like to hit a 1,000 like in 2021. That'd be cool. Get and if y'all like this microphone, let me know. I'll do a review on it. I hope it sounds good with my ears. There's no telling, but see y'all later.